जय श्री राम वेलकम टू एस्ट्रोलॉजी विद अभिलाषा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रेट्रोग्रेशन ऑफ सैटन विट इज गोइंग टू हैपन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ मे टू इलेवेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन द नक्षत्र श्रावण साइन कैप्रिकॉन फॉर ऑल द डिफरेंट असेंडेंट्स राइट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रिजल्ट ऑफ इट बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अ बिट अबाउट सैटन इज अ प्लानट and then we can go further so if you guys want to skip this session you can i will link down the time stamp down below right otherwise i would request you to listen to it because it will give you a different perspective about lord saturn so let's get started om shantay namaha that is how i perceive saturn saturn is having this innate quality of being the quiet and the mild and the silent one these words are very uh, less attached to the planet saturn but then we always forget that saturn is the one who awakens ascetic qualities in an human being there is a high value of life indicated by saturn saturn is like a saint who when moving never disturbs the natural law saturn sets everything to act in accord with the natural law that is what we are experiencing when saturn is transiting capricorn the whole current state of society is so that the universal forces are trying to bring back the natural rhythm of humanity and to bring back anything to the uh foundational quality one has to take take it to the extreme first saturn is not the one who follows any set mode of life or wears any particular garb but saturn is one who is established in the state of being suggested or described by this nature and name that is the quiet one the peaceful and the content one we have seen in the chart of ascetics that saturn and moon has a deep connection in the beginning these combination usually brings some unhappiness as saturn restricts the mind and the playfulness but later these combination uh, you know influence a human being to take the spiritual path as well these a uh, combination of saturn in itself in your chart gives you a depressive state of mind until you actually crosses the boundary and start to learn the ways of saturn nobody can escape the influence of this planet every planet in our horoscope is highly karmic that is true but saturn holds a special position here once saturn is satisfied the remain is all about peace contentment satisfaction tranquility then how is saturn satisfied saturn is satisfied by making us understand the true essence of us being here on the earthy plane it is said that one has to die to the world in order to truly live right now saturn is also called the giver of all blessings i know many of us will be astonished to listen to this fact that the set that the planet who is dreaded so much is the bestower of all fulfillment but only when we 
लीव एंड ग्रो आउट ऑफ ऑल द वर्ल्डली डिजायर्स द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ सैटन इट इज सेट दैट वन हु हैज नो नीडीनेस और लॉन्गिंग वन हु इज ट्रूली पीसफुल कैन ग्रांड द फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ एनी डिजायर टू समबडी एल्स इट इज वेरी कॉमनली हर्ड दैट वन हु इज सेल्फ सफिशेंट who is fulfilled and content in him or herself can only give love to the other person if you are dissatisfied in yourself how can you give to somebody else so saturn here is the most satisfied one the most content one he is the saint among the planet so he is the one who can bestow us of every wish we have right that is how i interpret this planet there is a story a woman once approached rishi vyasa on the pretext that she cannot conceive even after trying for long period of time rishi vyasa looking at the you know uh, high desire of the lady of having a child blesses her she and her husband get blessed with a child a few years later rishi vyas himself gets an urge to have a child but for now for his own desire he has to worship for several years so this story shows that the same rishi who can bless somebody else and the couple instantly got a child now when he needs it for himself he had to do penance for several thousand years why is it so because saturn restrict everything when you highly desire it if one truly surrenders what one desire then that objective easily arises if needed otherwise much trouble occurs in the fulfillment as a general rule the greater the attachment the greater the trouble now it is commonly seen that a uh, lot of us pray to saturn to free us from our miseries and we do not pray to him to fulfill our desires saturn is gently trying to let to make us understand the art of letting go saturn wants to take us out of our stubborn and resilient nature the resistance of our willfulness appears as if we are getting treated mercilessly by saturn because we are resisting to the path he wants to take us to so whenever there is resistance there is a clash of motion a person wants to go uh, right or left and the destiny wants to take him somewhere else that is the point when we feel the mercilessness of fate and we often attribute it to saturn but saturn is the greatest giver but the condition is we should be free of all our desires first otherwise it will first make us free of our all the desires by slashing our ego and then at the later stages of life it frees us and bestow us with the desires we have that's why it is said that saturn matures after the age of 36 or whenever we have a saturn return our life takes a new shift because whenever a native has a saturn return we should understand that now saturn has passed through each house of our horoscope and came back to its natal position what is mean that he has taught it something about each and every sphere of life and he now expects from us to be careful and watchful of our living style saturn 
is also a protector. Protector of those who are poor, miserable, hurt and injured. Saturn indicates them and also signifies those who are capable of giving refuge. In India, it is considered that there is no greater refuge than the feet of the Guru who is naturally a saint. So that is how we should connect with this great planet. He is here to make our future births much more lesser painful. So we should walk along with our guide, our protector, Lord Saturn. Saturn is also said the Lord of all. There is nobody who is not under the influence of Saturn. Even Lankapati Ravan, who had the courage of tying all the planets and making them work according to his wish, it was only Saturn who could change or shift the flow of events by his Vandrishti. Wherever Saturn's aspect fall in our chart, that is the place where we have to slash our ego. If we do it willingly, fine. Otherwise, the circumstances will break us and make us by, have, by giving us experiences in our life through which we actually let our ego go. So that is the uh, significance of the Drishti of Saturn. Similarly, everything which is attached to Saturn, like Drishti, Sade Sati, etc. is a way to make us understand that whenever Saturn comes in power, paves a way for a better tomorrow. It's give us a new perspective. Whatever planets do to us is just a matter of how we perceive it. The good and the bad result we attach to each and every planet is just a matter of our viewpoint. For an example, there is a story of Lord Shiva. Somebody told Lord Shiva that now you're gonna experience the Sade Sati, that is seven and a half year of period when Saturn is transiting on moon or either side of the moon, that is two or 12 to the moon, by the way of Zodiac. So that is the period of Sade Sati. Now Lord Shiva, being the great Lord he is, he submerged into river Ganga and took a Jal Samadhi for seven and a half year. And when he came out after seven and a half year, he told everybody that look, Saturn could do nothing to me. But the other person replied that, dear Lord, you were sitting submerged into the river Ganga for seven and a half year. So it is all just a matter of perspective, right? So that is how we should understand uh, the results of each and every planet. Typically planets which are heavy and have a lot of influence which are uh, transformational. Saturn, Jupiter, these are the planets which bring transformational uh, changes in our life. Right? So I think I can go on and on and speak about Saturn or any planet, 
but i know we are here for the other topic which is the transit of saturn now saturn uh, is already transiting in uh, capricorn and shravan nakshatra but now it is changing its motion and getting retrograde now let me explain a bit about retrogression as well what is retrogression i will not go into the mechanical technical description which we listen everywhere that what is retrogression what is this motion etc but the one thing uh, which is attributed to retrograde in my understanding is that it makes the planet really really powerful it gives the planet the bull of chishta except a uh, sun and moon which get chishta bull when they are in the northern hemisphere of the chart all the other planets get chishta bull whenever they are at retrograde motion all right so now chishta bull gives the planet an undying attitude so where whichever houses these retrograde planet lord in your chart are the owner in of uh, certain houses in your chart those houses will give you the energy of never say die right they will have the quality of phoenix of reviving from the ashes right that is what i have seen in my understanding in reading charts that wherever i see a retrograde planet in a chart i instantly make a comment that you had a experience in life where you can say that i was reborn as a person i connected to the houses that planet is lording and especially if your ascendant lord itself is retrograde this will be the theme of life transformation getting into being a better person etc etc by the experiences of life with much more uh, by the way of very prominent events in your life otherwise we all transform and change but that is with a natural flow of life but whenever we have retrograde planet they make us a uh, break and then they make us that is what all about retrograde planet is there is a uh, also another thing attached to retrograde planet that whenever there are many retrograde planets in a chart or even one to say that they give a uh, good longevity they attribute to good longevity of the native but will they enjoy this longevity or not depends upon the nature of planet uh, the placement of planet and what dignity that planet is having you should understand sometime a long life can also lead a person to a very miserable one many of clients i have a given consultation to sometime asks me that i do not want to live to 90s 100s 80s but i see a retrograde planet in their chart and i tell them that no you have a great long life but will it be good or a miserable one then we have to see the complete chart but this is one factor now after discussing something about saturn i would also like to add few points about the nakshatra shravan so as we all know shravan exchange from 10 degree to 23 degree 20 minutes in the zodiac of capricorn capricorn itself is lorded by saturn as you all know jupiter debilitates in the sign and mars exalts in the sign of capricorn that is one thing now coming back to the nakshatra shravan the essential feature of this nakshatra is all about great cosmic silence upon which 
uh, we can submerge in the silence and manifest our desires to the universe so this nakshatra is a great nakshatra for manifestations this nakshatra is also very crucial for meditation if someone is too engrossed in the materialistic path if that person have this nakshatra prominently placed in the chart falling on the equal house cusp or a major planet sitting in it he could have uh, this transformation from going to a, a materialistic path to a totally a spiritual experience or a spiritual orientation he will develop these condition under the nakshatra of shravan and that is what is happening currently to us as a whole uh, world we are understanding the difference and what is more important the materialistic world or the spiritual orientation the materialistic world for which we were dying day in and day night to earn and hoard certain things but at the end even money couldn't buy us the air the necessity we needed to stay alive so that is how the picture got unfolded in front of us the true essence of shravana shravana means listening the necessary quality which leads to alertness the symbol is also a human ear only after giving up personal emotion and thoughts one can listen to the cosmic sound the eternal nad the omkar all right the universal harmony is here to purify everything the inner nature of the man shavana make us uh, or enable us to attune ourselves to the cosmic rhythm which we have forgotten after getting engrossed in the worldly theme of life this uh, submerging back into the cosmic galaxy a cosmic river needs persistence and inquisitiveness unless somebody is inquisitive he cannot achieve the divine path somebody who's uh, keen and engaged in preparing themselves for this kind of life where they want to um, sacrifice or submit be submissive of their materialistic life are often live a very isolated form of life almost like an outcast so whenever a planet sits in shravana you can tell that person that one in your life you will be having a feeling of being the outcast because you do not wish to interact with people you want to stay isolated to let yourself connect to the higher vibrations of the cosmic world so that is all about what i wanted to say about shravana now i'm going to the transit for the aries ascendant first of all saturn will be getting retrograde in the 10th house itself so this indicates that if there was a long pending change in the purview of your occupation your job it will get initiated in this time period from 23rd of may to october 10th you might uh, achieve this change because there is a new opportunity or there will be a new opportunity so this is the start of the change you're going to get this opportunity in the 
coming months, maybe even after the retrograde finishes. This transit also shows a change in place. But if you are not having a change in place, a change in residence, you might have to visit a hospital for some other, other pretext. Okay. Now, uh, there can be certain changes at your place of residence. If there was some renovation work going on, it can speed up right now. Or you can start some renovation work at your home. You can get concerned about the health of your mother. Or there can be a certain deficit in the amount of luxury you enjoy in your life. But there, that can be your perception because retrograde planet makes us feel in a certain way which is not the actual case. Alright. So you can feel that there is some deficit in the amount of luxury you used to enjoy which not might be the actual case. There can be some disharmony in your uh, mental peace as well but you will sail through it if you are a business person there are changes indicated in partnership norms etc even marital relations for aries ascendant people can see a sudden shift of emotions now will this emotional shift will be good or bad that we have to see according to the placement of Saturn in your natal chart one thing more if Saturn is uh, natally retrograde in your chart as a natal planet you have a retrograde Saturn these uh, effects will be more prominently felt by you guys also if you have Saturn Mahadasha Antardasha then also this would be a very prominent result given transit. Now, uh, let's move to Taurus Ascendant. Now, for Taurus Ascendant, Saturn would be retrograding in your ninth house. So, there can be a sudden shift in your luck factor. You can expect undue gains if the placement of Saturn is good in your natal chart as well. Otherwise, transiting Saturn here can be a bit heavy for your father, your guru, your boss. You can have some conflicts with them. But uh, Saturn transiting in his own Rashi, this will be saved at the last moment. Alright, now Saturn can also ensure gains in your life but at a very slow space. Saturn for Taurus Ascendant, this transit, you should call up your siblings and ask them if everything is fine with them. Maintain an interaction with your siblings, all the Taurus ascendant people. Also, uh, if you were uh, looking up for some change in your daily routine, this is the right time to initiate that daily routine. You can, if you were looking for some loans, etc., that would be a tough sphere because getting a loan at this time will take a lot of effort so eventually it will happen but a lot of effort it will take that is all for Taurus now let's go to Gemini Gemini having this transit in the 8th house so this shows a general disharmony a sense of some fear 
which you already have been experiencing now when this planet will go retrograde you can feel the transformation coming head on to you right there will be some new turns of event but try to be peaceful as much as you can and you will sail through okay because uh, even the jupiter's transit is giving you a saving grace in your ninth house so that is a saving grace now saturn can give you some change in your profession maybe an appraisal for gemini ascendant can be seen on cards uh you should call up your family your parents etc and try to be uh, involved in the extended family ask how they are take care of them take care of your assets don't just come in any uh you know greed and invest them in some risky dispositions please be watchful of your investments you can uh, also feel an urge to increase your productivity in whichever field you are or if you are a married couple and looking up for having children this can be a very crucial time for that too that is all for uh, gemini ascendant let's go to cancerians now for cancer ascendant this transit is happening uh, this retrogression is happening in your 7th house now please listen to your spouse they are demanding your time they are making effort towards you to improve the relation please acknowledge that and try to have a conversation and let the beauty of your relation evolve because uh, this is a very major transit for you guys happening in your 7th house there is a turn of event which will happen due to sheer luck where your involvement will be minimal but there will be only luck factor involved in these turn of events if you are uh, trying to have a fitness regime you can go ahead at this time otherwise this can cause a bit of health issues for you as well so either yourself get to a, uh, get it enroll yourself into a fitness regime or saturn will forcefully act and will make you undergo a fitness check all right so that is it again for cancer ascendant people also there can be some uh, renovation related work or change of residence which happened in the new future there can be some other added things you want to do in your home space please maintain the cleanliness of your uh, bedroom etc your house the surrounding area wherever you reside uh, avoid being lazy if there is laziness which is overpowering you make up a habit to be as as mobile as possible because we are all you know under the lockdown period so laziness can creep up but find a hobby do something which keeps you engaged all right uh if you are a person who is having heart issues from the past please get your uh, medical test done once again for cholesterol etc that is for the cancer people now let's move to leo as it is seen that many of leo ascendant must have migrated to other places when saturn transited into capricorn itself so that is uh, very prominent for if you haven't done it yet i think 
you are initiating the plans of moving to some other place than your native you can also uh, visit hospitals on the pretext of health issues but i think if you have moved far from your native place this hospitalization thing can be avoided because that is how we balance the energies of uh, the chart all right uh, there can be some inheritance issues cropping up at this moment or something majorly transformational gonna happen during this time which i can see is more towards your being or getting shifted to a new place or moving away from your family you can also approach your a spiritual awakening at this time if you are inclined towards that take care of your health also take care be very watchful of your investments and uh, please do not be too valorous at this time apply your mind you will be having a deep urge to be very enterprising but have some patience and evaluate everything before taking any action for virgo ascendant people you are feeling a deep sense of responsibility at this time you are reevaluating the purpose of your life at this time you are really thinking about the past few years and the events which have taken place in those years and what you could have done better that is the thought process which is going right now in your head you are deeply inclined to produce something which could help you in future you desperately want to be highly productive at this time there can be some thoughts about partnerships and relations if you are into business you can have some you know uh discussions with your business partner maybe you will recast the agreements etc regarding your business or you can give a newer dimension to your relationships with your spouse etc there can be some return of somebody you know from past and it can evoke a sense of a uh, self reflection in you right uh, there can be a halt in your gains but it will restart after the period of retrogression gets over you are also thinking about making some fixed assets at this time or having some substantial savings or you'll understand the importance of savings at this time you'll realize uh, how important savings can be in the rainy days or some of your savings uh, can be used at this time you will uh, face such a scenario where you have to utilize all of your savings okay but all in all this also promise some sustained gain in long term whatever thought process you will develop at this time will yield good result in the coming 30 years of your life all right now for libra ascendant this transit will bring back your focus to your own comfort to your own household towards your mother towards everything which nurtures you as a person libra ascendant will be totally self centered as at this time they will also uh, either be forced to change their living style and 
grab a new healthier way of living because there can be some health issues at this time but whatever changes uh, you want to make this time is very uh, helpful towards that uh, this transit will help you uh, making your thoughts culminate into action if you are wanting to catch up a diet plan or an exercise regime this transit will help you in that and actually having that in action all right it can also give you a shift and a steady one in your profession in your work area or we can also say that this is a big time when you can meet somebody who still have some karmic uh, logs at your side you can meet somebody with whom you still have your karmic give and take remaining so be watchful whoever come into your life during this time understand that they are here for uh, equating of the balance sheet and they will not gonna stay for long all right be very patient gather your senses and understand that this is the time of release of your karmic debts as i already said there can also be a shift in your work station of work working methodology now for the scorpio ascendant you can be a uh, really inclined towards your enterprising nature you will have a sudden gush of energies and you want to start something new that is based surely on your valor right you can have a sudden event regarding your children where all your attention is needed toward the upbringing of your child if you already have kids or you can if you are a student there can be sudden urge to have a steady educational system in your life which can give you a better future you will very strictly analyze the productivity of your life in totality how useful you are how usefully you are spending your time that would be the case some event can happen with your father or fatherly figure something can also take place uh, or a turning event can happen with your siblings as well you can have a sense of isolation this sense of isolation is a theme for everyone in this transit because saturn is aspecting the sign of cancer which is also denoted as our family so wherever saturn looks at it leaves us isolated in that point and that's fair so uh, you can also have the sense that i have to give my comfort etc in order to sustain so this can also be the story whenever you feel isolated or devoid please uh, worship the female goddess energy to overcome it all right now for sagittarius people this is happening in your second house so there can be some major gravitational event in your family if you are unmarried there can be high pressure on you to look forward towards marriage it has been the story since last couple of month or say a year also it can hinder your savings and it will also reduce your expenses to some extent 
will uh, draw your attention towards your home environment. You should take care of what is happening at your home front, which is very crucial at this point. There can be a lot of emotional upheaval at your home front. So please take care and give your attention because Saturn is telling you to take your attention to the home front. You can have some uh, inclination towards esoteric learnings, towards occult, astrology, etc. You can have a sudden urge of understanding something which is uh, more cosmic, occult based and about the transformational forces we have in human life. You can have an urge to understand that. This is the time where you want to speak a lot less. You want to cut down on your interaction. But please understand this will lead you into a depressive mode. So please don't cut down on your interaction. Go inwards. That is correct. Because this is the time of going inwards. But please maintain a healthy interaction with your family. At least. Alright. Now for Capricorn Ascendant. As a Capricorn has undergone as a sign also so many transits in the last month that it has seen lot of changes lot of upheaval and lot of uh, you know crucial moments in your life now this is a time where you can relax a bit Saturn being in own Rashi transiting your ascendant uh, it will obviously make you a bit selfish you will be totally self-centered can uh, Saturn in ascendant makes a person totally about himself and utterly selfish but that is good because it is in in its own sign i think that is the pattern you should imbibe right now think about yourself first keep yourself first then only you can nurture anybody else take care of uh, your thinking patterns please don't bring in negativity in your thought process there can be some discord with your siblings try to avoid it there can be a sudden urge to reform your partnerships to have a great relation with your spouse because there can be a sudden sadness which can come up in your relation if Saturn is badly placed or afflicted in your chart if Saturn is good itself retrograde in your natal chart it will uh, give you a unavoidable attraction towards your partner and some Capricorn ascendant people can also uh, get involved in newer relationships that is also the case or otherwise your already existing relation will be strengthened deeply there will be a high urge of uh, converting this relation into something much more meaningful which can be marriage also now saturn will also uh, give you a fruitful result in your uh, occupation scenario but that would be somewhat temporary but that would be a great push for a good career so you are lucky in that front also right if you want to start something new i would say let this retrogression period pass uh, keep conceptualizing the ideas note down the ideas which are coming to you at this point keep your ears open listen to people who want to advise you especially some female if a female advises you in your work front or in your office and you are a Capricorn ascendant, please listen to the advice. Note it down for the, um, uh, for the current period and think upon it. Contemplate on it. But that can be a very transformational advice for you if you work upon it. Alright. Now for Aquarius ascendant, uh, 
many of the Aquarius ascendant must have been under the weather recently, some health issues, maybe uh, effects of viral fever, corona, etc. But they will uh, recuperate from it. They will get better. They will also feel some isolation, but that is self-inflicted. You want it that way. You are having it that way. That is the scenario. There is a sure shot change in place, which is uh, very evident. And uh, many Aquarians must have shuffled to and fro uh, since the Saturn is transiting in the sign Capricorn and in, in your 12th house. But uh, that is the story. If you are shifting to and fro, uh, you will be feeling... Uh, bit more less isolated because of the travels but as this is the lockdown period uh, you can experience a halt in that and that can make you a bit pessimistic but there will be a lot of gains also um, and steady gains at least up till october you will have some steady gains things might change past the period of october all right uh, Take care of health. Do not try to, you know, stay lazy. Uh, imbibe a new routine. Change the routine to keep up your emotional health. Alright. Otherwise, in the long run, you will have an imbalanced emotional health. If you keep on being lazy. Alright. Uh, yeah, that is all for the and and lastly the Pisces people Pisces people will take up certain endeavors will which lead them for a better future a steady future growth but some sad news can be there from your uh, peer group your friend circle all right there can be a rush of income during this time but it will be this sudden surge of income would not be steady or for a long term. This is short lived. So make most of total of it and enjoy the most of it. Uh, you can also think upon or you might be having certain uh, thought of going into higher studies or uh, taking up some educational endeavors that would also be the case for uh, virgo ascendant similarly it is the case for you as well for pisces ascendant right and uh, what else yeah there can be some hidden uh, secrets revealed upon you they can be this that could be in terms of relations as well and uh, there will be a you know sudden urge of changing your personality in totality you will uh, feel a sudden urge of uh, changing or uh, transforming the way you look all right some uh, changes and if you are in the field of uh, lightning please be very watch watchful in the field of lightning or interacting or in getting involved in some business proposals please be very watchful you might incur some losses in that and but if a Saturn is really well placed in your chart you can easily sail through this and you can avoid all such negative implications but all in all there will be some surge in your income capacity and you will be totally working hard to gain to achieve gains all of your concentration would be in this scenario there will be some health restrictions with you but you will overcome it i'm sure or if you were unhealthy up till now you can experience some good health in these month when saturn is retrograde all right so that is all which i wanted to discuss about the retrogression of saturn in shravana capricorn 
I hope you liked it and please I'll be happy to see the feedback.